Hello guys, welcome. In today's video, we are going to discuss about probability. Okay, it is chapter number 14. Probability, chapter number 14. Class 10. Math. Board of Secondary Education, Manipur. Okay. In this video, I'm not going to do all the questions. Okay. Yes, I have done in the previous video, if you have watched that, then I'm going to solve only the important questions. What do I mean by important questions? By important questions, I mean those questions that were asked from 2011 to 2017, because I have access to only those papers. Okay, I'm going to solve that this five years question paper. Okay, by which, okay, five to six year question paper, by which you'll get an idea, okay, what type of questions are asked in year board exam. Okay, with that, you can get the idea and most of the questions, some of the questions, okay, or similar type of questions get repeated all the time. So, it will be easy for you to understand the type of questions and some of the questions may be repeated again in the exam. Okay. So I've taken the five year question so that it will be easy for you to understand the concept as well as the type of questions. Okay. The video may be of uh, 50 to one hour. Okay. 50 minutes to one hour. Maybe. Okay. I don't know how, how long it will go once I start teaching. So let's start. Okay. Before directly jumping in the topic, let me tell you that in probability, at least three to four marks questions are asked. Okay. And it is very easy to score these marks, okay? It is not difficult to score these three to four marks, okay? It is very easy to score. And another, okay, let's start. Um, okay, let's start. So, directly, okay, let me take one question from 2013, okay? What is meant by random experiment? Before understanding this question, let me give you an overview for the probability. What is probability? I hope you, I am I just expect you to understand it in the previous classes of it. Even though you don't understand what is probability, I'll tell you, okay? Probability is the chance of occurrence. What do you mean by chance of occurrence? Suppose you went to play, uh, play cards, you know cards, no? Cards, you know playing cards, right? So if you happen to go for playing cards, then you are playing cards by looking at your cards, okay? You can understand what is your chances of winning, okay? All this, you can understand the chances, okay? How many chances you have to win, okay? Or is there a chance to win or you might you are going to lose? You can find the probability of all these things, okay? So it will make a very good decision, okay? You may win or if you happen to lose, you won't lose much. Suppose in cards, I've explained, or in any game like dice, you know dice, Ludo, right? You know Ludo, right? Ludo, right? Now, in all those cases, what is the chances for you to win? Chances, okay? Chances or probability, okay? All these things, okay? Probability means chances of occurrence, okay? I hope you just understood the basic, okay? Let us jump into the question and let us understand what is meant by random experiment, okay? It was asked in 2013 by giving one mark. Definition. It was asked definition. If you happen to look in a textbook, probability chapter number 14, the first page of the uh, chapter, okay, the first page of the chapter, chapter number 14, you'll get this definition. What does the definition says? An experiment whose result cannot be uniquely predicted even if the pre if the previous results of the same experiment conducted under similar conditions are all known is called random experiment. What does this mean? Suppose you have a dice or you say you have a coin coin you know no one rupees coin coin you know coin right coin so coin has head and tail right suppose you happen to do you happen to flip a coin okay flip a coin flip you know flipping flipping a coin suppose this time it came head okay and next time it came head again and third time it came tail, okay? You know three regions, head, head, and tail, okay? By knowing these three regions, okay? You cannot predict what will be the fourth region. Fourth region may be head or tail. You know already three regions, okay? Head, head, and tail, okay? In the three experiment, okay? But you cannot predict the fourth experiment, okay? What will be the fourth region you cannot predict in advance, okay? Such experiment are called random experiment. We cannot predict what will be the result by looking at the previous result. 
I hope you understood this much. Okay, let us do another question. Okay, let us look upon another question. What another question is also our definitions. Okay, the definition define mutually exclusive events associated with a random experiment. What do you mean by mutually exclusive event? This was asked by giving one mark in 2012. Okay, what does it say? Events are said to be mutually exclusive if the happening of one forecloses the happening of all the other. Suppose, same thing here. You have a Ludo. Ludo, Ludo, I think it is Ludo. Okay, you have a Ludo. And now you happen to play the Ludo. Okay, and suppose so let's say six game. Okay, six game. Okay, six game. Six is like, it is shown like this, right? Now six game. Now what is now all the other from one? Okay, to two, to three, all this. Okay, to four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All these will not appear. If six appear, if you do a play a little, six will appear. Then it is guaranteed that other other five like one two three four five other five will not appear this is called mutually exclusive event if one appear the remaining okay remaining will not appear if you toss a coin event if head appear then tail will not appear tail will foreclose the happening of th the head okay the tail will happen to foreclose the happening of head okay or six coming of six in ludo will foreclose the happening of all the other one two three four and five okay this is called mutually exclusive event okay events are said to be mutually exclusive if the happening of one four closes the happening of other all the other if one happens the other will not happen this is called mutually exclusive event let us do another define sample space of a random experiment it was asked in 2017 by giving one mark Okay, what does it says? It says the totality of all the possible outcomes of an experiment is called the sample space of the experiment. The totality means, means the total of all the possible outcomes of an experiment. Suppose you happen to play Ludo. Again Ludo. So what are the possibility possible outcomes? Okay, possible outcomes. Possible outcomes. Example possible outcomes for Ludo, okay? In Ludo dice, okay? What are the possible outcomes? One may come, or two may come, three may also come, or four may also come, five or six, okay? One may come out of this, okay? If you play Ludo, done. Now, one may come, two may come, three may come any from one to six may come we do not know so these are the possible outcomes okay possible outcomes okay so this all this total okay every possible outcome this is called sample space we can write as s okay these are all sample space possible outcomes of an experiment is called sample space of that experiment the totality of all the possible outcomes of an experiment is called the sample space of this experiment if you happen to write this Definition and give an example you will get one mark. Okay, if the question come so let us do the next question So far we have done the definition. Okay now something we need to go on to the formula the question is asking us Give mathematical definitions of the probability of the occurrence of an event a okay occurrence of an event a By giving one mark, okay Mathematical definition, okay, of the probability of an occurrence of an event A, okay. Now, what is the probability of A? So, event A, what, let me explain you what is event. Events, okay. Suppose you happen to play a Ludo, okay, Ludo. So, Ludo has simple space, I've already explained, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the sample space. Now I I'm just asking you, what is the probability of getting six? Probability of getting soca six. 
okay what is the probability of getting six this is the question which i asked to you okay so let's say probability of getting six six okay probability of getting six be represented by prob ep of a so what probability of six okay only one is there okay probability six out of what are the total numbers six this is the total number of favorable chances okay cases for a so a or there is only one six okay a out of total what is the total outcome total total number of all possible outcome six right one two three four five six so total is six and we need to find out six so six only one right only one we need to find out so therefore the probability is one by six or the some questions happen to ask that what is the probability of getting even number okay even number what are the even number two four six so there are three even number so out of three by six six is total and three is for even number okay so i hope you understood what is the probability okay what is the i've explained with you with uh, i i have explained with example okay now let me just tell you the formula okay the probability of an event a okay the occurrence of event a okay event a may be anything like we have taken even numbers or six okay anything event a is defined as probability of a okay probability of a is equal to m by n okay what is m total number of favorable cases for a what are the chances for a to occur and n is the total number of all possible outcomes okay m is the favorable one okay and n is the total possible outcomes okay so this is the mathematical definitions for the probability of occurrence of an event a so another one define mutually exclusive event associated with the random experiment i've already explained this okay sorry for the question getting repeated but even let's see the question has came already so let me just explain you events are said to be mutually exclusive if the happening of one forecloses the happening of all the other if suppose they say head and tail or we i've explained you if six happens okay if six happens okay remaining will not happen okay if you do toss a if you play ludo kata 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 done right six appears soka done now five four three two one will not appear this is called mutually exclusive even it was asked it was also asked in 2016 so the question got repeated i think it was asked in 2012 also and it was asked in 2016 also by giving one mark okay have you understood this much let us do another question give mathematical definition of the probability of the occurrence of an event if a and a bar let's say a dia a bar let's say a bar okay are two complementary events prove that probability of a plus probability of a bar is equal to one so mathematical definitions of the of the probability of occurrence of an event a of an event okay so i've already explained probability of occurrence of event a is equal to m by n where m is total number of favorable cases and n is total number of outcomes okay i've already explained this much in the previous question okay now let us do the second portion of the question if a and a bar are two complementary events prove that a b okay let's say p a done now p of a bar okay let us this is probability of occurrence of a so let us say probability of not probability of not occurring a okay so let's say probability of a and probability of not occurring a so let's say probability of six and probability of not coming six okay clear right so it is probability of not occurring six so we can write probability of not occurring six will be m total number is n minus m divided by n how this m is favorable cases so non-favorable cases this much is the chances of occurrence okay of a so m is for favorable cases for a okay 
Now, if I going to take the favorable cases for not occurring A, then it will be N minus M, which I've written divided by N. So I can divide N by N, N by N minus M by N. So N by N cancel and it will be, it will be one. Okay, one minus M by N. So one minus M by N can be represented by P of A, P of A. So probability of A bar is equal to one minus probability of A, okay? You take this one, this side, it will be probability of A bar plus probability of A is equal to one. Probability of Okay, I proved and this is the proof which the question is asking us. Okay, if you are going to give the definition and give the proof, you will get three marks, which was asked in 2016 by giving three marks. The question was asked in 2016 giving three marks. Okay, it is there indirectly in a textbook even. It must be third page. I don't know the page number, but third page of the tape chapter, okay, probability. You can get all this in a textbook. How to write, you can just look there and you can understand how to write, okay. I've explained, okay, I've explained what what is there for you to learn okay next question next question if a and b bar are complementary events okay complementary events means if a is the chances of occurrence of a then wait 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 this is not a b bar this is a bar okay i cannot rough i think a bar so if a and a bar are complementary events of each other that means a probability of occurrence p of a probability of occurrence of a then p of a bar is probability of not occurring a occurring a okay not occurring a so what will be p of a plus p of a bar we have already calculated this one in the previous video we have got p of a and p of a plus p of a bar is equal to one so the answer is b one okay it is very easy okay by just tick, click ticking this one you'll get one mark this question was asked in 2012 let us do the next question what are the events of a random experiment said to be equally likely I think I must do this question a little bit before, okay, a little bit forward, okay, I must, I must have done this, but okay, let us do now also, doesn't matter. What, what are the events of random experiment said to be equally likely? This question was asked by giving one mark in 2014, okay. The question says events are said to be equally likely if there is no valid reason to say that one event has more chance to occur than the other. Now, what does it mean? You take a coin. Okay, now I have the coin. You tell me which coming head has more chance or tail. Coming head has more chance or tail. You cannot tell that, right? Okay, you cannot say that. Whether head will come or tail will come. It has 50-50 chances. Okay, there are equal chances of getting either head or tail. You cannot say exactly which will come. Okay, so that are called equally likely events. Equally likely, okay? Re equally likely events. If the chances of occurrence of any two events, head or tail, in this coin, in a coin, okay, head or tail, have equal chances. So they are equally likely events. I hope I made it clear to you. Okay. So let us do another question. Let, I hope you understood. Okay. Let me not explain further. Let me not waste your time just repeating the concepts again and again. So let us do another question. The question says, if N and A and B are independent events of random experiment, then probability of A plus probability of B is equal to 1. Now, this one. The first one, probability of A plus probability of B is equal to 1. This is wrong. Okay, how it is wrong? If P of A bar equal to 1, okay, we can say. But these two both are independent events, okay? So, this will not be the answer. 
probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. This is also wrong. Probability of A dot B is equal to probability A. Here we have done product. Here we have done plus. So this is also not the answer. Probability A B is equal to probability A into probability B. This is the answer. Okay. So answer is D which is probability of A B is equal to probability of A dot probability of B. I hope I made it clear. Let us do the next question. If A and B are two independent events of the random experiment, the probability of A dot B will be, we have done already, it is C, probability A dot B, so we can, I, we have done just like the previous question, but the previous question was asked in 2017 by giving one mark and now 2014 it was asked by giving one mark, okay. So questions get repeated, okay, but not the exact question, okay. There is some little bit twisting or turning of the question and they used to ask, okay. So the answer is, the answer is C, probability of A dot probability of B. I hope it is clear to you. Let us do the next question. Now we are with the main questions. Okay, we are with the main questions. Now before doing these questions, let me remind you the formula. Probability of occurrence of any events is equal to M divided by N, where M is the probable total number of favorable cases or events and this is total number of of outcomes remember this formula because we are going to use this formula to calculate in all the coming questions okay so let us do this question find the probability the sum is 10 two dice are thrown so Remember this formula. I need whole page, so let me record this one. Okay. So, solution. Two dice are thrown. Okay. Dice. Okay. Take it as Ludo dice. Okay. It has six possible side. Okay. Cube. You can understand cube, right? Six side. Okay. Six side. Cube. I cannot show you the cube, but cube, six side. Okay. Now, two side, two dice are thrown. Two dice, okay. I have one, another one, two dice are thrown, okay. Find the probability the sum of the points is 10. So if you happen to throw two dice, it may be one, like this also may, may come, okay. Or who may knows, may come like this also. Who may knows, one one also may, may come, na? like this. So there are many chances of coming. So let us learn what are the possible chances of occurrence. So that is called simple space. Simple space okay s is equal to we need to write the simple space so s is equal to so let me start one one may occur in both the dice if you throw the dice eka eka one one okay or one two may occur in one dice it is one and in another dice it is two or one three may occur one four may occur one five may occur and one 6 may occur. Okay. Another one. 2, 1 may occur. 2, 2 may occur. 2, 3 may occur. 2, 4 may also occur. 2, 5 may also occur. 2, 6 may also occur. Right. 3, 1 may occur. 3, 2 may also occur. 3, 3, 3, 4 may also occur. 3, 5 may also occur. 3, 6 may also occur. 4, 1 may occur, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, and 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6. Okay. These are the sample space. These are the sample space. Okay. So, 
टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स ओके टोटल आउटकम्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स सो काउंट ऑल दिस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स 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 थर्टी सिक्स राइट सो सिक्स इंटू सिक्स इज कॉल टू थर्टी सिक्स दे आर थर्टी सिक्स इन नंबर ऑल दिस ओके दिस आर थर्टी सिक्स इन नंबर ओके नाउ वट एज द क्वेश्चन इज वाई द प्रोबेबिलिटी दर सम ऑफ देयर पॉइंट इज टेन ओके सो इवेंट ऑफ गेटिंग सम इज इक्वल टू टेन सो वट आर द प्रोसिबिलिटी दे सम इज इक्वल टू टेन हियर ओके सो सम इज इक्वल टू टेन मीन्स वेन यू डू प्लस इट विल गेट टेन सो वट आर द नंबर इफ यू हैपन टू एट सिक्स प्लस फोर टेन दिस इज वन अनादर इज फाइव प्लस फाइव टेन अनादर इज सिक्स प्लस फोर टेन सो ओनली दिस थ्री आर द इवेंट्स ऑफ गेटिंग सम इज इक्वल टू टेन ओके सो इट इज फोर सिक्स फाइव Five and six, four. The number, okay. So, what are the numbers? Okay. Number is equal to one, two, three. Okay. You just write it down. So, therefore, probabilities of getting some. Let's say these events are represented by A. Then we can say probability of getting A is equal to what is the total number? Thirty-six. Write down in the denominator thirty-six. A numerator three. Numerator, denominator. Numerator divided by denominator. So probability of A is equal to three divided by thirty-six. I hope it is clear to you. Okay. Now this we can cancel three and thirty-six. We can write three one the three, three two the six. We can write one by twelve. Okay. It is a duty to write. It is simple. Let us do the next question. The next question. Okay, the question is similar to the previous question, not that difficult. Okay, we need to find the total outcomes and all those things. So, this question was asked in two thousand twelve by giving two marks. The question says a ball is drawn at a random from an urn. Let you just take urn means a sack or anything. Okay, you take a bucket or sack. Okay, this. Okay, you. This is opening. Okay, here, here. Okay, there are balls. Okay, there are balls. There are four black balls. Okay. And there are five red balls. One, two, three, four, five. Five red balls. And let me take the black ball. Okay, for me, black ball. Okay. There are one, two, three, four, four black ball and five red balls. Okay. There are this much. Okay. Now the question is asking, what is the probability of getting red balls? Okay. Find the probability now. Total outcomes. So total, total. Okay, what are the total? Okay, there are total balls. What are the total balls? There are nine balls. Five plus four. Five is red and four is black. Is equal to nine. So what? There are nine chances. Okay, you are going to pick a ball from out of nine balls. So there are nine possible outcomes. Okay, total. There are nine total possible outcomes. So nine. We can write total. So n is equal to nine. Let us write down directly like this. Okay, probability a is equal to m by n. Okay, n is equal to nine. M is equal to there are five red balls. Out of five, one ball will be you are going to pick up ball. Okay, one ball from that nine balls. And you are going to find the probability of getting red. So there are five balls, okay, which may come in your hand, okay. Five red balls, okay, which may come in your hand. So there are m is equal to five, okay. So therefore, probability of a is equal to five divided by nine. This is the answer, which you can just calculate and find it, and you get two marks, okay. This was asked in two thousand twelve. Okay, let us do the next. Question: A fair coin is tossed three times. Find the probability that head appears exactly twice. A fair coin. I have a coin and I'm going to toss toss it. Okay. I have a coin and I'm going to toss it three times. Okay. Find the probability that head appears exactly twice. I have a coin here. Okay. 
क्विंस सो क्विंस इधर है टे हेड और टेल ओके सो आई टू आई टूस ए फेयर क्विंस इज टू ओस थ्री टाइम्स ओके सो आई टू ओस थ्री टाइम्स ओके नाउ प्रोवेड हेड एपेयर एक्जेक्टली ट्वाइस नाउ आई एपेयर वन टाइम टूस हेड में कम सेकेंड टेल में कम थर्ड हेड में कम और एनीथिंग ओके थ्री टाइम आई टू टोस नाउ आई नीड टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग हेड ओके एक्जेक्टली टू टाइम्स सो वॉट आर द सिंपल स्पेस ओके लेट मी राइट आउन द सिंपल स्पेस सोल्यूशन सिंपल स्पेस सिंपल स्पेस विल बी वन टाइम हेड 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 थ्री ऑफ देम मस्ट हेड 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 केन ओके सेकेंड वन हेड ओके हेड एंड टेल कम्स पॉसिबल राइट थर्ड टाइम ओके द थर्ड थर्ड प्रोबेबिलिटी थर्ड पॉसिबल सीनेरी ओके विल बी हेड ओके टेल हेड और हेड टेल टेल ओके और हेड ओके लेट मी चेंज नाउ टेल हेड हेड tail head head okay another is tail head tail another is tail tail head another is tail 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 okay so total number total number of sample space okay this total number okay possible scenario okay total number of outcomes okay total number of outcomes may be this much total number of outcomes okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so total number of outcomes is 8 okay now find the probability that head appears exactly twice so favorable outcomes for occurrence of head exactly twice is equal to look here exactly twice head one we can take this one head head tail this is also head comes two time here head only one time so we cannot take we need to take head where there is two times head okay we can take this one okay so we can take h h t head at tail head tail h and tail h h so number number is equal to 3 okay therefore probability okay let me the occurrence of head be represented by a oh, okay a is the events for occurrence of head then probability of a is equal to 3 divided by 8 okay so this is the probability of occurrence of head okay two times okay head appears exactly two times when the fair coin is tossed three times simple i hope you understood this much let us do the next question a dice is thrown once a die who took a die okay we took a die die we can just assume by ludo die okay it is thrown once only one time okay one time only one time find the probability of getting a number greater than 4 okay the probability of getting number greater than 4 so solution so simple space Simple space one may come only one die right one may come two may come three may come four may come five may come six may come there are six different outcomes so one two three four five six okay total number of outcomes total number of outcomes is equal to six okay now number so favorable outcomes favorable or number greater than 4 so 5 and 6 are greater than 4 so total number of favorable outcome total number of favorable outcomes outcomes 5 comma 6 okay this one so it is 2 okay 5 or 6 therefore we can write therefore probability of a 
if we happen to take A as the favorable outcomes, then probability of A will be 2, 2 divided by 6. So it will be 1 by 3. Okay. So here 2 is M and 6 is N. M favorable outcomes and N total number of outcomes. Total number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes, which is the probability of an event. Here the event is getting number greater than 4 is the event. Okay. I hope it is clear to you. Let us do the next question. The next question. Let us see the next question. The next question, it is of 3 marks. It was asked in 2015. So if a die is do tossed twice, find the probability that the sum of the points of 10 in the two tosses is equal to 8. Now, same thing. We have two Ludo dice. We are tossing it. Okay. We are tossing it. Okay. Two times. Okay. We are tossing it. Okay. Fear die. Uh, no, no. We don't have two Ludo dice. We have only one Ludo dice. One time and second time. Now we need to find the probable scenario that first time and second time. Okay. That, okay. That two. Okay. That two. The sum of that two. Okay. The sum of that two. The first time if it happens four and second time, second time it happens three. The sum of that two. Here four plus three is seven. But what is the probability of getting it eight? First time also 4, second time also 4, such thing. Okay, what is the probability of getting 8? So let us write the simple space. S is equal to, I've written before also, let me run on one again. 1, 1, 2 times, right? 1, 1 may come, 1, 2 may come, 1, 3 may come, 1, 4 may come, 1, 5 may come, 1, 6 may come. Or let us do, let us write down 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, and 1, 6. Another is 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6. Okay, so what are the total outcomes? Total is equal to 6 into 6 is equal to 36. If you count all these things, this one 1, 2, 3, 4, like this, it is 36 in number. Now, what is the sum of getting point? Also? So, favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes. What are the favorable outcomes? The sum must be equal to 8, right? What is sum equal to 8? Look here, what is the sum? 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5, 1, 5 plus 1, 6, 6, 1, 7, all these will not be included. Similarly, all these will not be included. Here, 6 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8, right? We can take favorable outcomes to be 2, 6. Another is 5, 3, this one, right? Or 3, 5. Another is, another is, look here. 6, 4, no, 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 4 plus 4, okay, 4, 4, another 5, 3, 5, 3, another is 6, 2, 6, 2, all this if you add, you will get 8, if you add, you'll get 8, 8, okay, <laughs> I'm clear, I think so, so what are the number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so total out favorable outcomes number are 5. So you can find the pro probability. Therefore, let me write down here. Probability of A is equal to 5 divided by 36. I hope it is clear to you. If you need to find the probability, you need to know only two things. Total number of outcomes and the favorable outcomes, total number of favorable outcomes. If you happen to know these two, you can find the probability. Okay. So I hope it is clear. Do you let us do another question. 
if fear die is thrown what is the probability for occurrence of a prime number if fear die is thrown i have a die die ludo remember i i have a die i have thrown okay now what is the probability for occurrence of a prime number solution only one die is there so what are the sample space 1 2 3 4 5 6 Simple space chances of occurring one may occur, two may occur, three may occur, four may occur, five may occur, or six may occur. Okay, there are total total outcomes total. Okay, outcomes will be equal to six. Total chances of occur uh, total number of outcomes will be six. Okay, so favorable outcomes outcomes. What are the favorable favorable outcomes? What is the probability of occurrence of a prime number? Prime number are the favorable. Outcomes. What are the prime number? Look here. Two is a prime number. Three is a prime number. And five is a prime number. You know prime number, right? Two, three, and five. The number which is divisible by one and the number itself. Okay. Two, three, and five is a prime number. So write down here. Two, three, five. So what are the numbers? Numbers will be three. Okay. Equal to m. You can write down. Okay. Therefore, probability of occurrence of a if a is the number of if a is the event, then n by m. You know right, right? What is n here? Why when the m by n m by n? What is m here? M is three. What is n here? N total number six, right? Three by six, three to the six, one divided by two. I hope it is clear to you. It is clear to you, right? Now. Simple. So far, we have done all these kind of questions. I hope it is complete. If not, I think we have one more question. So we'll deal with that. Okay. I think this must be the last question. I hope so. Okay. Now find the probability that a number greater than or equal to three will appear when a die is thrown. A die is thrown. A die. Remember, a die. Only you have one Ludo die, and you are going to throw it. What is the probability that number greater than or equal to three will appear? So. What are the sample space? The first thing you are going to write is sample space. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope it is clear to you. We have been doing this since the first question that we did. Okay, the numerical question that we did. We have been doing this. Okay, so numbers, numbers are six, right? So favorable outcomes. Or events of getting number greater than or equal to 3 or equal to 3 is equal to equal to 3 so 3 will come greater than 3 4 5 6 okay what are the numbers total number equal to so we can write numbers Or right, let me write down m is equal to one, two, three, four. Okay. Therefore, if we happen to take probability event a, okay, event s a, then we can write four divided by six. Okay, two to the four, two three to the six, two by three. So it is two by three. I will explain to you how to do it. If you are a little bit, I have it written very roughly because I I just want to make the video shorter. Okay. If you have a little bit difficulty in writing, you can just look up on the example in the textbook given, so it will be clear to you how to write. Okay. I hope I have made a good attempt. Okay. To make you understand. If you don't understand, please write down in the comment below. Okay. Give me the timeline and just write down in the comment below. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll meet in the next video. Let me see if any questions is left out. No more question is left out. So. This all these question, knowing all these question, it will be easy for you to understand all the exercise question even. Or if you think any questions, okay, which is difficult for you or you cannot attempt it, okay. If you cannot do it, please write down in the comment below. Please give me the question number, okay. And exercise number and question number, you can write, you can write like this. Exercise number, suppose fourteen point one, question number, okay, question number, like question number five. 
okay like this you can ask any question like this in comment below okay i will make i'll try my level best to answer you okay either in comment down below or by making a separate video for you okay thank you so much we'll meet in the next video